Rising commodity prices, inflation, and geopolitical uncertainty are causing tough terrain for some of the world's biggest machinery makers and manufacturers. CNH Industrial is a multinational agriculture and construction company. You may not know the company, but you definitely know their brands. International Harvester Tractors, Case Construction Equipment. And they have got a new CEO, a man you also probably know, Scott Wine, formerly of Polaris. Well, Scott Wine sat down with us after his first investor day as CEO. We began by asking him about how the risk of a Russian invasion could impact a globalized ag machinery company like his. One of the things I talked about with our, uh, the investment community that was here today for our Capital Markets Day was geopolitical risk. And little did I know when I put that on the slide that we were going to have the, the situation in Russia and Ukraine develop right before us. But we were ready for it. You know, we've anticipated these types of events in our plans. You know, what, what's most important to me is we've got 37 employees in Ukraine. We've got a broad dealer network, so taking care of them and their families is our first priority. We've taken, we've ma taken those steps. You know, obviously it's uh, difficult. Wheat prices are going up. We saw that. Um, right now, we don't foresee any impact on our business in that most of the activity, if you want to call it activity, is happening in the, uh, the western or the eastern part of Ukraine, and our operations are generally in the we uh, western part of Ukraine. So, you know, we're watching it very closely, but we feel like we've got uh, our finger on the pulse, and our team's done a really good job of being prepared for this. And obviously, uh, rooting and hoping for those employees and your dealers that are remain safe in a very chaotic time. Uh, we have seen the price of commodities like uh, nickel and steel go up. You use that to build your machines. But we've also seen the price of agricultural commodities. You just referenced wheat go up. What is the trade-off? Do you, do you benefit from higher agriculture prices but get hurt on the input side on the steel? How do you balance out what has been really a crazy commodity market the last few months? Well, I mean, Brandon, you're kind of describing what's happened for the last year and a half or so. I mean, inflation over the last nine months is really out of control. And I think maybe perhaps in the U.S. at least the Fed will take some action to bring that back in line. But, you know, we've been dealing with these high commodity prices that are both helpful on the in, on the outport side and hurtful on the input side for, for quite a while. I mean, we got, you know, almost 10 percent price last year. We've got, uh, you know, six or seven percent baked in this year. I mean, it is very difficult to stay ahead of the cost input, but that's what we're trying to do. And, you know, ultimately, the, the better value we bring to our customers with our our, whether it's a combine or a tractor or the technology we put in them, the better and easier to get that price. But certainly it is, uh, it's a difficult task to stay ahead of. You, you just referenced the federal government. Is there anything that as a CEO of a major global multinational company that you would like to see them do? Well, it's more what I would like to see them not do. I think the regulatory environment is getting increasingly tough and it's ultimately uh, very unhelpful. I think the, the inflation is largely driven by this huge influx of cash that they've put in. Um, so I, I think if the government would step back a bit and just let the economy and the free market operate, we would be better off. But uh, I, I doubt they would want to listen to that. You got fertilizer costs up. Farmers are getting more, hopefully, for their crops if they're able to pass it through. Probably depends on, on the farmer and the specific market they're in. Uh, does that help you ultimately? High fuel prices, people looking for more fuel efficient machinery, or does it hurt? Because some of these combines can run a, a half a million dollars. Yeah, obviously, Brian, you know, it's, it's, it is interesting that, you know, the investment we made in Raven uh, Industries gives us better precision technology, better autonomy. And ultimately, if we can give our farmers, you know, productivity and yield are the two things that they value most. And if we can help them with those things, and that's what our equipment does, they are willing to pay up for it. I mean, what we've seen in the Midwest markets for corn, example, when we put our precision solutions in, they can save 40 percent on their input costs. And that's ultimately you know, contributing to their, their farm income, which ultimately expands and enlongs the cycle for us. So, you know, it is, uh, it's a difficult equation, but we're trying to give our farmers the tools they need to offset that higher input cost. Uh, final question, wrapping up kind of a two-parter. You talked about innovation, sustainability, uh, and profitability. You want to raise your free cash flow, raise your, your margins by, I think, about 3%. Uh, but at the same time, you want to innovate to make sustainability, things like methane to run tractors. How do you how do you balance out those? Because it's it's expensive to change engine technology completely in some of these big machines, which have been running the same way effectively for, I don't know, 50 years. You know, Brian, it would, you would think I paid you to ask that question because our sister division of Vecco Group, which we just spun off, provides our engine. They're leaders in LNG solutions 
for heavy duty trucks in Europe and we are literally just taking that exact same engine and putting it into a tractor. We've got partnerships with Benjamin, a supplier to make a circular you know, methane environment on a farm, um, which we believe is a great environmental solution and a great uh, profitable solution for the farmer. So uh, we, we are using an asset-like approach to bring some of these great solutions to our customers. Using maybe what comes out of a cow's tailpipe, for lack of a better term, to make sure nothing bad comes out of the tractor's tailpipe, for that, lack of that, a way to say that. That is exactly right. Farms, not just cows, but also uh, biodegradable um, farm inputs. You can create a lot of methane on a farm, and it's just a very cheap fuel for our tractors.